Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sunday's show at the Wacky Bookshelf. For those new here, this channel is all about books you didn't know about. If you are a returning subscriber, we thank your continuous support for checking out our latest additions to the Bookshelf channel. We try to support a community of eager readers who invest their time into books, and we are always open to new suggestions. If you are interested in finding this video's book and others, they are linked in the description below. Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel for important content. Your support is appreciated by all of us at the Wacky Bookshelf. Thank you. And now on to today's book. Behold a Pale Horse is a controversial book written by Milton William Cooper, a former United States Naval Intelligence officer. The book was first published in 1991 and is a conspiracy theory classic, exploring a wide range of topics including government cover-ups, secret societies, extraterrestrial life and the New World Order. The book's central thesis is that there is a shadowy group of elites who are manipulating world events for their own gain and that they are using their power to create a totalitarian global government. Behold a Pale Horse is a densely written and highly speculative book that delves deep into a wide range of conspiracy theories. The book's author, Milton William Cooper, was a former United States Naval Intelligence officer who claimed to have insider knowledge of many of the conspiracies he writes about. The book is divided into several sections, each of which explores a different aspect of the New World Order conspiracy theory. The first section of the book provides a historical overview of the New World Order, tracing its origins back to the Illuminati and Freemasonry. Cooper argues that these secret societies have been manipulating world events for centuries, with the goal of creating a global totalitarian government. He also claims that the United States government has been infiltrated by these secret societies, and that they are responsible for many of the government's most nefarious actions. The second section of the book explores a wide range of conspiracies, including the Kennedy assassination, the Oklahoma City bombing, and the Gulf War. Cooper argues that these events were either staged by the government or allowed to happen as part of a larger plan to further the New World Order agenda. The third section of the book delves into the world of extraterrestrial life and UFOs. Cooper claims that the government has been hiding the truth about extraterrestrial life for decades, and that they have been working with alien races to further their own goals. He also argues that the government has a secret space program and that they are using it to wage a secret war against extraterrestrial civilizations. The fourth and final section of the book provides a series of practical solutions for individuals who are interested in resisting the New World Order. Cooper argues that the best way to fight against the global elite is through education and awareness and he provides a list of resources for readers who want to learn more about the conspiracy theory. Overall, Behold a Pale Horse is a highly speculative and controversial book that is likely to be dismissed by mainstream readers. However, for those who are interested in conspiracy theories and the New World Order, it is a fascinating and thought-provoking read. Behold a Pale Horse is a book that raises more questions than it provides answers. Some of the key takeaways from the book include there is a shadowy group of elites who are manipulating world events for their own gain, and that they are using their power to create a totalitarian global government. Education and awareness are the best ways to fight against the global elite and their new world order agenda, which is working towards global domination and the establishment of a one-world government. Secret societies like the Illuminati and Freemasonry have been manipulating world events for centuries, with the goal of creating a global totalitarian government. The government has been involved in a wide range of nefarious actions, including the staging of events like the Kennedy assassination and the Oklahoma City bombing. The Kennedy assassination was likely part of a larger conspiracy involving the CIA and other government agencies. The government is involved in a wide range of secret programs and cover-ups, many of which are related to UFOs and extraterrestrial contact. The government has been hiding the truth about extraterrestrial life for decades and that they have been working with alien races to further their own goals. It is important for individuals to educate themselves about the government's secret programs and to resist the forces of tyranny and oppression. 
Overall, Behold a Pale Horse is a challenging and controversial book that raises important questions about government secrecy and conspiracy theories. While many of its claims are highly speculative and lacking in evidence, the book is still worth reading as a provocative exploration of some of the most enduring mysteries and controversies of our time. And that concludes Sunday's Wacky Book Summary. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this content, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. This book and many more can be found below in the description. You can support our community by engaging in the comment section and share if you think others would enjoy this content as well. Thank you again for visiting the channel, and we will see you around soon.